everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World! Uh, I was gonna say evolution, but it's not. The game. Jurassic World, the game. I uh, hope you have your cup of tea with you. Hold on, here, here's some TSMR. Mmm! Ah, you know, it's been the longest running series ever on the channel. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be doing- I mean, well, if I was to do a longer series? How long would I have to keep on doing YouTube for? When can I retire? <laughs> oh, it was funny the other day. Uh, we went out. And we were, we were at... Uh, we were, oh, where was it? Oweno Park in, in Japan. And there was like loads of tourists and stuff because it's it's like springtime. So Sakura is, you know, the main thing you want to see in Japan. You want to see the blossoms. Uh, we're, we're, don't worry, we'll, okay, I'll do stuff. Um, and then I was just walking along. You know, with uh, like Winnie's uh, cousin that's visiting and all that jazz, uh, and then all of a sudden it's here. Game Beaver, you the Game Beaver? <laughs> Turn around, it's this guy. Um, it's like, oh, I've been watching you since like fourth grade. <laughs> and it's it's interesting since like tourism with Japan opened up. Like, I would never get recognized by Japanese people because, like, they're. I don't know, they feel so insulated in their own YouTube sphere. Like, they know Japanese YouTubers. They don't know, like, international YouTubers, unless you're super big. So it's quite nice for, you know, if you're a foreign YouTuber, or not Japanese at least, and you live in Japan, you'll never get recognized, even no matter how popular you are, so it's quite nice. But now tourists are here, it's like, <laughs> you can't. I've been recognized quite a few times. And I, like, I love it, it's great. Uh, but it's, it does always seem to be like, oh, I, I've watched you for ages. Da -da -da -da. There was one guy who watched my Pokemon. Oh, speaking of Cherry Blossom, there they are. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Um, he, what, what did he say? He said uh, he liked my Pokemon uh, like hunting streams, or not streams, but uh, videos I've done here in Japan. And that's something that I, I was really into. I, was, I loved looking for rare Pokemon cards in Japan. Nowadays, I've cooled off on it just because I don't really have the storage and also cards in Japan, like Pokemon cards, went super expensive. Anyway, what do we have going on in the game this time? Uh, let's have a look. Because I am... Oh, Lithronax is coming back. And of course, we have a new... Uh, a tiny tank. What, what, what are the... It's just like a new season, I suppose. In four hours it ends, so we need to do this kind of sharpish. And then a week... Uh, we've got one day for the weekly, and the VIP season is 22 days. And, of course, thank you to uh, Ludia Gem City, whoever it is, the, the overlords of Jurassic World the game, for giving me another pass. They love it. They, I th they, they love giving me another one. So we do actually have Stegorus to hatch. Now, I think we'll open this pack. I, I do need to open a pack anyway. Oh, it'll be good. Oh, it's an Echidazo. Uh, so this one... I. No, Critonosaur is in Jurassic World Alive. I was like, wait, did I have a dream that it was not Critonosaur? It was a different one? No, no, that was Jurassic World Alive I played the other day. So we'll quickly go in here. It looks to be a tournament creature. Yeah, it's got the, the tournament glowy around it, except for it's not a tournament. Interesting. Maybe there will be a tournament to unlock it, or at least an event. But anyway, let's hatch this because I, I got all my restarts. I got my four instant hatches and stuff. And now this is a guy that recently came to Jurassic World Alive as an Omega. The infamous Omegas, which really felt or feels to me like a soft reset for Jurassic World Alive. And I'm not too sure why, but yeah. They, they, they've decided, yeah, we need to go for, we need to restart. You know, commons? Nah, you got omegas now. Uh, now, what's interesting, that strikes me straight out, is that it's, you know, it's a low poly version because the, the models in Jurassic World Alive are really high poly. And I think that's to do with, you know, it's, it was a newer game than Jurassic World the game. If everyone remembers Jurassic Park Builder, you know, when Jurassic World the game came out, it was night and day stark difference with the models. And now we've got that with Jurassic World Live. And this one's coming back to Jurassic World, the game from Jurassic World Live. So you will see some downgrades. But always nice to see that they're adding new dinosaurs to the game. And what's great about this one in particular, the game, is that, you know, they'll add a new dinosaur and it's not OP. It's not got crazy, like, new things you have to learn. It doesn't change any meta because there is no meta. It's all a nice, chill time. And that's what I like about Jurassic World, the game. Whenever a new dinosaur gets added into Jurassic World Alive, it always feels as though I'm like, oh, great. What What is this going to change? Sweet. Nice. I can't use my old things. <laughs> Whereas this is nice. So we have Steg Stegorus is an Ankylosaur from the Cretaceous period. 
Hmm. I'm curious to see the difference between... I mean, we can't really see. It just has a little bit more spikes. Or the spikes that it has are more jagged. Yeah, they've just sort of pulled them up. And its head looks more peaky. It's, it's the Jurassic World, the game syndrome. There's just more, more spikes on it. So, we've done that. Hmm. Oh, right. Hatch one of these. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can do that. Now, I don't think... I Did I hatch all these? That's right. I ran out of food. Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> 25. Oh, you can jog. It's not worth my time. Uh, so, we've got three more instant hatches. Now. Now, 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 now. We could unlock bon Bombonky. That's what it should be called. Not Bombonky. Bonky's a nicer name. But no, we're not going to get bumpy, unfortunately, because it's kind of uh, got the Love Soul Gen 2 to unlock, which I do not have. So that's good. Anyway, unlocking bumpy, does it, I, none of the celebrity dinosaurs like Rexy or, or bumpy or Toro uh, have any hybrids that we know of. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you what, Jurassic World the game has really slowed down when it comes to hybrids, and I'm not too sure why that is. But they have, so there you have it. Anyway, we need to use... Oh, what's this? Spring Begins! Cost 200,000 and is super difficult. We've got a gyrosphere that I'm not really fussed about. That costs 660,000. That's 750,000. And you are 250,000. So actually, you're the cheapest at 200,000. Oh, okay. Well, I got plenty of coin. So we need to use Pteranodons and Amphibians. And we need to complete matches. So... May as well do that for a fair bit while we yabber on and drink our cups of tea. Which I hope you have. <laughs> How dare you? All the Trandons. That's what I like about Jurassic World the game. It's not, sorry, not Trandons, but just how chill it is. You know, I, I open up Jurassic World alive for the, you know, every game has dailies, whatever app game you play. I play three at the moment. I play a the Warhammer Tacticus game. I play Jurassic World. Actually, I play four. I play this game. I play Jurassic World Live. And I also play Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is the chillest out of the bunch because I do not have to do anything. I literally just go on, catch one Pokemon, spin one stop and do one mission. And that's my dailies done. It's up to me whether I want to play more. Jurassic World the game is my second easiest, this one, just because, again, what it requires of you is very little effort, you know, you you know, you get into the rhythm. The, the one I, I, I dread, I freaking dread, is Jurassic World Live, because I, I never know what it's going to give me, and it's usually something super annoying, like, defeat two Omegas. When am I going to do that? No one's using them in, like, PvPs, and I, I do not want to touch PvPs at all, so... Uh, yeah. I would like to see the numbers on Jurassic World Live. Like, how is it staying afloat? <laughs> I'm very curious. Because uh, it, uh, for me anyway, as someone... Maybe just it's not for me anymore, maybe. I don't know. I still play it every day and I do the dailies and try and help out with the missions and stuff. Because I am clinging on to the hope. It's it's the time sink fallacy. That, that's what time cost fallacy, whatever it is. Where I've spent so much money on it already. I've spent so much time, which is invaluable. Doesn't matter how much money you have. It's time. That's what you cannot buy. Um, you know, leveling things up, playing the game. And I'm just waiting for it to get to a better spot. And I cannot bring myself to stop playing it. I feel like I could very easily stop playing Jurassic World Alive. Very, very freaking easily. And I would, like, a, a month would go by and I would think, Oh yeah, I never played that game. Huh. Oh, I guess I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> like, that's how it would go. But I can't stop myself just in case something really cool comes out. And also it's content, so I have to torture myself for a living. So that's fun. <laughs> Unless everyone's going to just watch me play Halo Wars. Please. Please. <laughs> I'd like that. That's the thing. When you're more released with me anyway, when I, when I enjoy something, I'll make content on it. And that's the way I've always trapped my channel. Um... And it's not, the, it's not, you know, that doesn't work for everyone. But it all, like the, the bad downside to that is, you know, yes, you enjoy everything you make. But uh, recently I made, I mean, it has, it'll be coming out this week, actually. A, a Path of Titans video. And people have requested for me to play Path of Titans for a very long time. And I, I had a video in the works. But what happened was I unfortunately uh, recorded it wrong. 
I had my display set up and every couple of frames it would like jerk back. And it was so freaking annoying. Uh, for me, it was a, like what happened in the video was great, but watching it back, it's just, it takes it. So I had to spend an extra three or four days, you know, either re-recording parts with the replay mode or, or um, what else did I do? Uh, or just going in frame by frame, finding the frame that like goes back and then forward and then holding that frame for a second. So it doesn't do that over and over and over. And man, it's, oof. it's, it was rough, but I did it. I did it. So <clears throat> it's not so bad. Anyway, we're just kind of doing our dailies as well as just trying to get as many missions as freaking possible. We do have the, uh, speed ups as well. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get to the 2,000 or 3,000, uh, you know, points it was. Uh, 30, hell, hell no. Nah. Not doing that. 800, hell yeah. Oh, look at it go. Ooh, it doesn't, it doesn't take much to stimulate me, does it? <laughs> Number go up, make a nice noise. Uh, what else we got? We're seven away from the pterosaurs. Oh, okay. Hmm. 660, we're almost at. We need a little bit more amphibians, some battles, so one more set of pteranodons and then just loads of amphibians. Okay. I don't that I don't think I have Lithronex, actually. So one last set of pteranodons. I think I collected the speed ups. I haven't collected uh the battles yet, so I don't well, I may as well. I need to use these. So it's 18. So that takes us to 21. If my memory serves me correctly. This takes us to 24. And then we just need two more battles. That would be six. And that would take us to 30. So this is the second last one. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm losing a lot of coin. But am I really though? I can click one thing and get like 80 million or something ridiculous. So there we go. That should be all the battles as well. Maybe we're one or two off the battles. Let's have a look. Right. We're three off the battles. We'll just collect them all at the same time. That's the most rewarding. So we'll just quickly do three more battles, I think it was. And to Zhang Oh, I will. I, I keep on saying it every time. I, I, I'm I, very curious about making a list of the top 10 dinosaurs in this game. Because it would be very freaking different to my last top 10 list. It'd be interesting. Anyway, here we go. 220. 220. 220. Oh, I didn't click. It wasn't enough. Eh. Well, anyway, we're going to see us fly. Woo! Pyom, pyom, pyom. I think it's 10,000 to win lock or 9,000. 8,000. So we get the pack that has it in, which is brilliant. And we also get it unlocked. So that's three guaranteed. Uh, four. Five. Okay. Uh, six. So you only get six. So... You need two. You need two extra, basically. Right, so how is our missions doing? Complete 50 battles. Complete 100 battles for only 200. I mean, I guess it's not so hard, really. It was 100 times 200,000. That's like 200... Well, that's like 200 million coin. So that's that's not really that hard. I mean, the max you get is 99 million coin, but I can get that in two days. So that's not so bad. If I want to refresh that over, spend 2,500 DNA for 885. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, what do we have in our roster that is something we can level up? Let's look at the market. We'll do it like this. So armor matter, we actually have a level 40. I don't think we have... Oh, we have a Guadasuchus at level 40. Oh, no, at level 40. I do not have that at level 40. And it's just all round worse. Um, Draco Ceratops, we do have a level 40. Second Suchus, we have a level 40. This thing we have at level 20. But its attack is just terrible. It's really not worth it. Uh, what I do need... I wonder if that counts as super DNA. Do I have a Parasaur Lux at level? No... Not really fussed about those. Oh, these are all herbivores. No, I want Jurassic. Here we go. So, we recently got the Orthathrosepsis to level 40, which is great, because that's a very good one. Now, it wants me to get this thing, 11,000 health and 90... It feels like all the, the dinosaurs that have really good attack and not so much health. I've already got. The ones that are left are the tanks, but I never really like the tanks, because when you're fighting things that you know, that higher level, you want the attack. You don't want the health. Because two attacks can wipe out something that's mostly health. 
Uh, is this thing good? Oh, that thing is really good. The Bache Suris. I don't have that. Also, I really want the, the biggest game changer. If you're watching Jam City or Ludia, <laughs> whatever you like to be called. The biggest game changer you could do for this game is allow Cenozoics to be used with regular dinosaurs. No longer. Get rid of the barriers. Even better. Put a glitch in. I'm not saying you have to listen to exactly what I'm saying. But maybe make some sort of glitchy way that you can have aquatics fight lands. That would be so cool. I, I can't believe they fixed that. I really can't because it was it was just like a you know like the retro games right you go back to things and you're like I know this glitch watch and it's so cool and you can't do that with this because they fixed it I mean I get it it was an issue but did it break the game no did it make it more fun yeah yeah it did do I use aquatics anymore no so it just gave me a reason to do the aquatic stuff. I don't know, man. Ah, they should listen to me more. <laughs> so we could 18 battles. That's great. So let's have a look. We've got the Nozuda Ceratops Showdown, which does... Oh, 500. Ooh, very, very good. And what's this one? Whoa. You're telling me there's a... Ch oh, but it doesn't unlock it, though. If I get the Lofso Gen 2, I do not own that. That could be quite cool. But the... The enemies, though. Okay, and I've got to do this five times. Okay. Well, bar stage infinite. A golden reward? It's not as... Oh, wait. No. Mm. Why? Why'd you pay me like that? Why? A golden pack? Ha oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that... Yes, we should do this. We should definitely do this. Um, It's just carnivores. It's just carnivores, dude. Let's do carnivores. What's the most popular carnival of all time? Quite long. <laughs> du, du, du. That's what you need. What was it? Better use Triceratops. Uh, I mean, we're halving their attack anyway, but it's still huge. So, hmm. I do like using Scorpius. You know, since Indominus Rex, I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna put it on the channel. Which do you prefer, Scorpius Rex or Indoraptor? Because Scorpius Rex versus Indominus Rex, it will always be Indominus Rex. 100%. Indominus Rex is the most popular dinosaur I think that's ever not existed. However, Indoraptor, I feel like, doesn't have as much of a, a cult following as Indom Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex has a bunch just because of what it was, which is basically, uh, it renewed the series. It was Jurassic Park for the new generation. It was, you know, a villain dinosaur. It was smart. It was part raptor. It was part T-Rex. It had all these things. Whereas Indoraptor was really a letdown in the series. <laughs> it did like one thing and died. Um, and couldn't couldn't even catch up to a little girl running upstairs. I mean, what, what more can I say? Uh, I couldn't even grab it from the bar. It had to be all creepy. Boo, <laughs> spooky, scary. Such a shame. Anyway. So one, two, three. It does not kill it. I think we have to factor in one extra. Yeah. Okay. The Rainbow Alophosaurus. Or versus a Brachostachosaurus. Blah! Which, for some odd reason, I would like to know, if anyone's still on the team, um, why, from back when this game first launched, why Brachiosaur was never, ever put in the game to start with when it was in Jurassic Park Builder. Very curious about that. I wonder if there was some some talk, I don't know how long ago, of, you know, they had a feeling or they knew about Fallen Kingdom. And they were like, oh, there's a Brachiosaur in, in, that's going to be used for that or something. I, maybe it was just an oversight. They were like, ah. I've, oh, that's 100% what it was, wasn't it? It was an oversight. Because Brachiosaur wasn't really in Jurassic World, the game. Also, Jurassic World, the film. It was a Padasaur. It was like the, the, the Plodocus and stuff like that that was way more heavily featured. Mm. That'll be it. So they weren't too fussed about Brachiosaur. Uh, just worked it out for myself then. So my brain working in real time. So a hundred bucks is glorious. Mm. Right, so we're not doing that. Uh, ooh, look, there's any creature to win gold rewards. 
which do give you a fair bit. Now, how much does it cost? It's 25. Oh, look at this, guys. But I don't really care about it. Because <laughs> it's... I mean, it's high. It's okay. But at the same time... Actually, this is super easy. Oh, this is really easy. Oh. Oh. Hyenodon. Oh, hold on. Let's do this. Look. Guys, I'm doing something I've ne I never, ever do. And that's use my Cenozoic creatures. So, yeah, this is super easy. We'll just go for one reserve straight off the bat. Okay, look. Look. Guys. 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 Look at... Look at the... Look at the uh, battle arena. You can actually see things. Now, the problem with this arena is that... It's beige. The ground is beige. And most of the Cenozoic creatures are beige. So everything gets lost in it. I don't know who... Would... The designer for the creatures and the designer of this arena did not communicate. Because everything just blends together with the floor. So they just look like lumps fighting. If you blur your eyes, you'd be like, Oh, that's a moving mass, isn't it? What they should have done is made it snow. That would have been so freaking cool. Ah. Ah. I just wish. I wish I wish I was there. I wish I could say. Maybe they already know. Maybe they already know and they're powerless. Like, the people who work on this game... That was bloody close. The people who work on this game are passionate. But then again, it's it's like the higher-ups that have the final say. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I went to their studios and they seemed like a great bunch of lads and lasses. But, uh, you know, again, at the end of the day, it's a business, unfortunately. They need to make a new Jurassic app game. Scrap everything. The Jurassic World Alive whales are like, don't! <laughs> don't do it! Uh, and, and restart. Okay, so... I mean, I guess we could go for... Savannah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure. We'll do the same again. Take out you. Go for Savannah, since that's, like, the best so far out of all of them. And just... Who came up with Andrew Therium? You guys need help. That design's horrific. God, it looks horrible. Yeah, there is. There's the mammoth boy. Right, mammoth Therium. Whack it. And then reserve. Uh, I guess I could have went for some block. Oh. We good, man. We good. Like, what? what's brilliant and what's the, you know, nice about Cenozoic? is that it has a color scheme. That color scheme is usually snow, like white. So you can make everything. As long as it's not white, it won't blend in. But then they, they decided for whatever reason to make it brown the floor. And then everything is brown. And it's just, it's just, it's unappealing to the eye. It's nice that I can actually see my creatures, but it would also be nice if, you know, I could see my creatures. <laughs> it's like, we're not making the same mistakes. No, you're making all new ones. <laughs> all right, okay. If you know what movie that's from, you're a true Chad. All right, and the final one, I never do this. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I mean... What's my best surveying after that? Gastornis, which could probably kill them all in one hit. Might as well put them in first. And then I'll just put in... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to use any more of these creatures. We're putting Gastonis. Oh, God, it wasn't there. Ooh. Ah! Yep, kills Glyptodon. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's better. I forgot it had the advantage on these guys. It's the other thing. The super hybrid. What does this thing look like? Oh, God, it's just as horrendous. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, you little bugger, you. You know what? I'll kill you, and then I'll be killed by the other thing. But at least I got you off the screen. Jesus! <laughs> this thing's not as bad. The Arclophelius-coon, or whatever it's called, God knows, uh, isn't so bad. But, it, oh, geez, there's some horrendous designs in there. There you go, pretty parrot. Killer bird. Were you the ki killer kiwi bird or something? I don't even know. Anyway, golden rewards. We got some DNA, which is good, and some sarcosuchus. And let's not forget the most important... <gasps> 1,300. Oh, that was good. Okay, maybe maybe I should do those more often. If the VIP points is 1,300, kind of makes sense. So, uh, what else do we have to do? So, stakeholders, I never do this because it's just too hard. And the prize is loyalty points. 
1,500, I think. That's the top prize. It doesn't even tell you what the wheel is. It's like, you will win it, but you'll probably win like 25. <laughs> Something ridiculous. Um, defeat 10 opponents, we can do. We have 25 days, and then you... Oh! <gasps> Guys! Do you unlock this? Ooh, I think... Maybe you... Oh, you do! And at least it has the unlock symbol on it. But I need... The only way to get this pack is by doing battle events. So I need to do stuff. Oh, okay. Now you're making it interesting. Because I don't have that. Well, this this is super simple, this thing. Just put in... I don't know, it's all Nozudo Ceratops, so uh, just one Indoraptor and just whap, whap, whap. <laughs> oh, it goes first? What? Okay. So we've done two out of 25 so far. We need to do a minimum of two a day. Oh, sorry, one a day. We've already done two, so we're going to get three or four today. Saying that, though, I don't think they refresh every day, so maybe two, two a day is best if you can. There might be some days where you can't do any. That's the second one down, I think. I think it was. Yeah, super easy. So how's your day? How's your day going? You, I'm, I'm curious because I know the people that have made it this far in the video, you're, you're the MVP. You're, you're the members. You're the true, the people who have been here for the longest <laughs> in the video and the channel probably. Um, do you still play the game? Like this game? Or do you just watch, like, do you play it vicariously through me? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Ah, it's been it's been a, a wild ride playing this game for so long. I, I never in my wildest dreams thought that this would be going on for another nine years. It, we're going to have a 10 year anniversary. I hope they do something for the 10 year anniversary. It should be this year. I think it came out in 2014. Because, you know, for an app game to last 10 years, I feel maybe that's not too rare. But for, you know, w the last Jurassic app game we had lasted all of a few months before it got cancelled. Jurassic has a, has a habit of doing this to their games, unfortunately. So, the fact that this one's been going on for so long, I wonder how long Jurassic Park Builder was on for. And then I, yeah, I'm sure I could easily Google that. Mm. Hold on, let's have a look. Jurassic... Where are we? Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna do There we go. Okay, so one, two. So it came out in 2012. Whoa, it didn't even last a whole 10 years either. It's got a wiki? More about this popular, let's see. When did it get closed down? Okay, I don't, I don't even need to pay attention to this. <laughs> Pretty much got it. Wikipedia, here we go. So, in 2015, Ludia released a sequel. Jurassic World, the game coincided, yep. Development release reception. A shutdown. Ludia ended the game's support in 2020. Just before the pandemic. Or actually, maybe during the start of the pandemic, they closed it down. The end of an era and the end of life as we knew it. <laughs> So it lasted eight years. Whoa, that's crazy. So Jurassic World, the game, has lasted longer than Jurassic Park Builder did. And it, feel like, it feels like Jurassic Park Builder was out for an eternity. I've definitely made more videos on this thing than I did Jurassic Park Builder. And I made a lot. Zootoceratops showed up. Oh, sweet coin, get in. Well, it's either Zootoceratops or DNA, I think. But another 260 VIP points. Nothing to be sniffed at. Uh, yeah, four days, four days, five days. I like how they give you this rather than having a calendar. That was always a bit frustrating. So you can plan out your teams. It doesn't tell you what your opponents you'll be facing. Oh, there we go. So number three out of 25. That's great. Now, if we were struggling, what's the easiest next one to do? Possibly the Rarity Rumble. Because it's asking for three legendary, so that might change. It says Rarity Rumble. So I feel like the first one will be legendary. Next one will be like super rare? Maybe they'll all just be legendary. Uh, any creature of this one is just super tough. And then spring begins. 
2,000 attack. Okay, okay. It's not as bad. Look, at 2,000, 3,000, whereas the other one is 3,000, 4,000, and then this one is 4,000, 4,000, 3,000. Okay. So, Spring Begins, even though it's more battles, might be easier. So, my... Oh, I've got to be careful here. I've got six battles. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I can do the, you know, uh, buying things back. I think I still have that. Three recoveries. Um, I'll go for Serizinosaurus first. Then I'll go for... Indoraptors. Even though they're only level 10, guys. Honestly, MVPs of the entire game is Indoraptor. Because... It's only 2,000... I say it's only... It's still pretty expensive. To unlock it, it's 4,000 Super DNA. Once you unlock it, price halved. Instantly way better. Uh, oh, we didn't switch out. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I thought we'd switch out straight to uh, Flaffy. Oh, there you go. T finished. Unto Carfinel. <laughs> oh, you do come out now. Yeah, you do. Okay, did you go for any block? You did, so you got one reserve, I think. No, you don't. Okay, you can't kill me. Ha! Are you fool? I haven't even tried it. That's brilliant. Okay, so it's got one block. We can kill this thing then. And there we go. We'll go for the one block just in case. It does go for it. So that was the best scenario we could have. We're going to do this one. We're going to do the hardest, hardest of them all. This battle event, probably. Just because it's one extra battle. Uh, so one, two, three kills at factor in two. Two is always a good one. Now, we do kill it with one hit with anything else, though. So, he's going to go one, two, three, four and kill us, leaving him with one block. That's great, because then we can definitely kill him. And we've got two Interruptors facing Kentrasaur. So, we go for two attack here, guaranteeing the kill, and then four reserves. And then Kentrasaur doesn't matter what it does. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, didn't go for any blocks. So, it's got five. One, two, three might kill me. So, it might... Might? <gasps> it went for five! <laughs> oh, Indoraptor! Impaled on Kentrosaur's spikes. Right. Go on then. Go on, Kentrosaur. Die. And you oh, yeah, I forget it's 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 a uh, they do they got flourishy with the Indoraptor uh, finish animation. Like, let's do multiple camera angles. Multiple shots. Okay, so not so bad. Four left. Again, another nice easy one. It's when they start putting amphibians in. That's when it gets uh, a little bit tricky. We'll put Interruptor in first, like Interruptor Gen 2, because that's got the most health, and we'll put that out front. Most health, that's what we'll do. No, will it switch in its own Interruptor? No, it doesn't. It switches in the dragon. Remember when we used to have it breathe fire? That was fun. <laughs> oh, dear. All the characters, all the memes. All right, you go for two. Okay. Okay, so you went for everything. You just were like, outright, oh, you wanted to kill that thing. Okay. So one, two, three, and then three reserves. Why not? I think we've got this. And dies. Red Bull gives you horns. <laughs> An Indoraptor. Okay. I was expecting this out first for some reason. Uh, but look at that. The difference between a level 10 and a level 20. Oh, I don't kill it in two hits. That's interesting. But I'm just going to get rid of it. Make sure it's dead. Because then its attack gets halved. And it can't kill me in one hit. So it's going to have to go for four out of its five. And then it's over. Yep. Super easy. There we go. We're going to do four, I think. Is it four? Four in one day. Nice. I haven't done all of our dailies, but yeah. Who really cares about that if we, we do those dailies? You guys do those dailies, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we just watch you do it, Beavis. It's fine. All right. Okay. So, oh. Ooh. Don't like that. That's a bit nasty. Very, very nasty. Kind of tempted to keep on going for this. However, the reason being... It's got 9,000 health. So it's not that much. It can probably kill in three or four hits. Oh, it can me one. Okay, I made a terrible mistake. We're, we've lost this one. Oh, God, we have definitely lost this one. 
Uh, I, I've, I've, I mean, I'm just going to go... Because I think I've lost this, I'm just going to go for reserves. I'm just going to go for reserves. I might get lucky. You can't kill me one. Oh. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just give up on that one. Draw me like one of your French dinosaurs. Yes, Indirect, we get it. Uh, okay, so... That happened. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put it in. I'll put in you. Right, so this time, we won't die straight away. I wasn't expecting to be killed in one hit. If I knew that, I would have blocked. Oh, now you don't? Okay, now you don't. Right, right, right. Watch. Watch, I'll go for two reserves now. He'll switch. Just you wait. It'll switch and kill me. Oh, no. Okay. So, for some odd reason, the ultimate unicorn wizard? Uh... It, okay. It, 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 it doesn't think of it as a threat, apparently. But you really should have, because you're dead. But right, Interruptor comes in. Can it kill me in one hit? Yes, it can. So it's going to go two out of its three, which isn't so bad. Because it'll only have one block, and I've got five. But you barely see Interruptor there. We're the coolest looking kind of dinosaurs. You can't even see in this ballerina, man. Uh, so one, two. Does kill it. Great. Uh, didn't go for the block. That's kind of worrying. But it's okay, because it has to go for two to kill me. So it's going to go for four again. Right, Raj, Rage. What's your health? What's your attack on? Oh, oh no. Uh, can I kill it in that? Oh, don't go for a block. Ah, god damn it. No, I was so close. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right, sod it. We're going to go for that. And then we'll go for you, Don. And then we're gonna go... I don't know. Well, that thing. Seconda donga donga bonga. That one, yeah. So, right. Pachygalosaurus has so much health. We won this. We won this, okay? We won it. If we lose here, I'm terrible. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna go for all out reserves. Oh, they've done something weird with his geometry. What? They've messed with his rig. Oh, does that mean something else is coming? Yeah, look. They've, they've messed with the skin weights for its head. Oh, that didn't used to be the case. Okay, that to me is telling me there's a new dinosaur coming. There's a new dinosaur with this animation. They've fiddled around with the, the, the rig or the skeleton and it's messed with everything else. Oh, we've, we may have a new ultimate hybrid coming. Like it's, a, it's definitely going to be carnival. Interesting. Yeah, just, I'll, I'll go for some attack. Maybe we can bring down his health a little bit. That will help. Because that would have meant last time we would have killed it if it had that much health. Goes for three. That's fine. Out of its four, was it? Okay. Yes. So one, two... Three kills it. Factor in one. Just in case. Okay, that's it. One. We've won now. Although saying that, I've got the flyer in there. And he was meant to kill the, the amphibian. So, woo, that was close. Okay, so two out of your four. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to block now. Yeah, just going to block just in case I didn't kill it. That was my... I haven't been paying attention. It... It's a hard life having fun and trying to carry a conversation. <laughs> okay, okay. So it went for three. Got one block. It's definitely dead. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so that's three out of five. So two more. We're collecting tiny, tiny fractions of DNA. Oh, not worth it. What? Don't waste my time. All right, showdown. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we don't even need, need to use the best one here. Uh, oh, you can kill me into it, so I've got to go for a block here. Hopefully it goes for an all-out attack. Why didn't they paint the inside of Interruptor's mouth? That's so weird. Okay, just make it white like the rest of its body, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to go for three, uh, two block here just because he's got three, which he does. Okay, playing it very strategical. Okay, so it might have four now. So we'll go for three block. And it does have four. Will he go for three attack? Oh, no. Okay. 
Not bad. Um, right, and now I'm just going to go for full reserve. We'll see what he does. You played it really good, Prestasuchus. Again, VIP dinos are MVP. So freaking good. Especially only for costing like 5,000 VIP points for one. One, two, three. I'm going to factor in one just in case because I didn't even check. You might have went all out. Worst case scenario, I'm left with Gorgasuchus with eight, which is the best out of the bunch. So he's got four. Goes for three. Oh, just enough to kill me. Okay, I can kill you in three, so I'm going to have to go for four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I don't think I can be killed by two. Oh, he's got five. I don't think it's killing numbers for me, though. Ooh, three, four. It's 4,000 and odd damage. So it's pretty close, but I do kill him in two. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. If he didn't go for any attack there, I would have been in a kind of bad situation. Because if I... I could go to kill him, but he would have enough to block. And if I go for reserves, he might have went for reserves as well, and he'll outdo uh, me. So that that was scary a little bit. And... F ah, yes. I think I've used all my best carnivals, except for indirect <laughs> level 40. Oh, is there anything here we don't use? Uh, Spider to Sutures. I don't think I have that level 40. That might be a good one to get. But again, another really good dinosaur just to have loads of. A bit like Indoraptor. Especially when it comes to carnivores, and there's already so many carnivores. We'll put Indoraptor in first, because we're just going to rinse. We're just going to go for all attack. Like, oh, first turn? Die! <laughs> What's that? 11,000 health? You almost die in one hit. Have you noticed? The, the more... The lower the ranking or rarity of the dino, the better they are when it comes to these kinds of battles where they just oomph all the stats. Like, level 1,378. <laughs> why? I mean, I guess... I, I I know why, just because then you would never see an Azutoceratops in, in late game. You'd never see it. And it would be the same kind of fights. You'd fight the same dinosaurs over and over. Also, there was a bunch of... YouTubers that hacked the game and made dinosaurs level like a million and stuff. So maybe that was their way of being like, oh, well, let's do that. That seems to be what everyone likes to see. Let's see. So a level 2350 Tijongasaurus. I thought for the longest time they were going to increase the, the cap of dinosaurs from level 40 to 50. In fact, I remember pe Oh, I killed it. Oh, I don't have to kill my common dumb. I remember, maybe a year ago now, more, somebody saying, oh, there was a data mine, they're increasing the level cap. They're doing it. You lied if you're still watching. <laughs> oh, I wish I could find that. Uh, you know, I'll, I can scan through my comments and find it and be like, you lied. <laughs> oh, that was good. A Sukumavis and an Azuto Ceratops. Oh, as well as 1,300? Four? Wow. You know, playing the game, it's kind of working for me. Oh, we've done more as well here. That's brilliant. Just get a little bit more. And we'll do the rest. I mean, I got, mm, I got four adverts, but I, ah, I can't be, we're not watching that. We're, we're fine. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, leave a like. We'll be back when we, I don't know, maybe finish this event, get a higher level version of it. Maybe hopefully get level 40. We'll see. Or even in 25 days or whenever I unlock, where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. This guy. I want to get that pack. So it's not owned, and it's also got like, oh, you unlock it. So it is a glacier, but still, it's something we don't have, and that's that's the whole point of the game is to get all the things, unlock all the things. Anyway, at the point I am at. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.